Hi everybody, this is Frog Snack, and welcome back to the Test of Time Challenge. This is episode 12. I am still with the Covey family. I know it's been a minute, but thank you for tuning in with me. Um, I wanted to play this family again. I only played a day of them last time, so um, this time I played one day off camera so that I could sort of get familiar again with the things that are going on in their little sim lives and um, kind of refresh my memory because I haven't been able to play for a while. So. Um, what we had happening was Atalo and uh, his girlfriend next door, he actually just went and visited her and had a date and um, got her pregnant. So actually, he is expecting another little one on the way. So Maria is his girlfriend, and the game's already recognized that, that, uh, that she's pregnant. Um, they've already had Spuria, and Spuria is a cute little blonde girl that's got the Cove hair, or the Cove hair, really. It's from the founders all the way back in the first generation. Uh, I don't know how many generations we're into this, but it's enough by now for sure. Uh, so anyway, um, hopefully maybe this time it'll be a boy. I don't know if that's going to... Well, that's... Well, I don't know what that's going to do for them, to be perfectly honest. But unfortunately, his daughter is a slave because his girlfriend is a slave. Um, now, his parents and that, of course, do not approve of their relationship. And he did start something with Chandra Salsineska that he needs to break off. He's a good sim, so that's the sort of thing that he really should not have done in the first place. I'm not sure if the game did that or me. I think I did it, honestly, because I was thinking that they were compatible, because he needs to find a wife within his um, social range. So, Atalo, you know, the Cove family, they're the emperors. He can marry a Bupkis or a Cove, and that's pretty much the rules for him. He's not able to marry a Salsin or a descendant of a Salsan, which is, of course, the Salsanesca. So if you've learned this about me already, that's how I have my naming convention. It's just the original last name of that family. They get an additional couple of letters and other sounds, uh, you know, another something added onto the end. So I can tell which original family they're from. There is currently a cl uh, cast system set up, and this is the Roman era. This is still Gen 1 of the Roman era. So uh, keep that in mind as we play. Um, anyway, Atalo, it, he stayed away from Maria for quite a long time, and he finally just wanted to see his daughter, who he had only met, I think, once. So he went over there and started teaching Spuria how to talk, and so he wants to continue doing that. And he has actually a lot of family-related ones on here. Billy, I believe, is his grandmother. Uh, the game's not remembering that far back, but I'm pretty sure she is. She's one of the children of the original generation, so she's like a Gen 2, I think. Um, and he wants to see Maria and e actually even have a date with her. Um, so here's Stuart. Here's his dad. He's wearing a suit. I didn't bother to change it. I already changed a couple outfits and I didn't want to go overboard on making things pretty again at the moment. Although this is a really nice view right now. Just stare out at the island. This is what I like about this game. Oh yeah, there's a house I never did show you guys. Well, I, there's a, a quick build on my channel, but... Yeah, beautiful view. So anyway, um, Stuart over here is kind of trying to make nice with his kids. He's um, He just called Fort Starch Military School and told them to take Atalo away because he can't keep him away from his girlfriend. Uh, she's going to have another baby. It's just not acceptable. And so he thinks his son needs to learn some discipline. That would fit Stuart because, of course, he's already, um, you know, his job. He's a fighter pilot, so he's getting high up there in the military, except... Um, he kind of is sucking right now at his job, so I do need to, to improve his performance a little bit. Um, Svetlana is not supposed to be employed. She keeps, you know, getting a job, and she's self-employed anyway, so I guess that works. But I might have her quit her job in a minute here. Um, so that's just a little bit of the recap. We, of course, have Svelte and Stavros, who are running around. Um, these are her play clothes. Can we change your outfit, darling? Be athletic if you like. Um, and Stavros has, he's adorable too. He's just got like really dark hair. They're just all such cute kids with this family. I think I'm one level up. Yeah, they're all reading together. That's actually pretty nice. So I, I guess they're letting bygones be bygones about the military school thing. But Atalo leaves tomorrow morning at 10. So if he's going to have another date with Maria, it has to be sort of now or never. Um, and Gail is his really his only good friend and that kind of bums me out because of course Gail can't go with him he is the in live-in slave so he's the servant of their house um no Atalo also will be like master of this this household one day because this is their family home since they branched out to Covey which is what Stuart is and um 
I'm sure one day eventually he'll probably have a wife and Maria and all his kids in this house, but um, I don't know they're growing up fast and Maria is already, oh, she's already an older toddler. So um, Svetlana is sleeping outside and she's juiced. Anytime I haven't played my, uh, my, I, I actually am not sure how she got that way because I just played them for a day. Um, he visited Maria and came back and she's like completely drunk. So, and she's dreaming of uh, writing. Maybe she doesn't know how to write. Um, and actually, background on Svetlana, she is um, supposed to be like a Russian area sim, so um, sorry, I don't recall what the nation was called back in the Byzantine era times of Rome or what. Okay, whatever. I'm, I'm completely muddling up my history right now, but at least I'm acknowledging the fact. Uh, right, so Svetlana might not know how to read and write. Um, she's basically a, little, a trophy wife that was stolen during a war, and that's how I introduced new genes when we hit the Roman era. Um, so I'm guessing that Stuart probably carried her off at the battlefield. It's really romantic of him. <laughs> it's just making it up as I go. And yet their phone is ringing for all the history I've just injected into this story. Uh, right, Gail has a girlfriend and he's got Madonna Edifica. So um, they're within the same realm. Uh, the edifices or the you know the edifice family so that's like an extended cousin or something whatever and he can marry her which is great um can you like silence your phone bro because it's really bothering me <sighs> yet yeah. oh you know you're not <laughs> this is the roman era no you're not allowed to talk to people i will let you call her out on a date maybe <laughs> i'm so mean Oh, I ha you have to do it this way, so I guess, yeah, you have to use the phone anyway. Um, let's go to the Colosseum and see who, see who hangs out there. There's probably nobody, there's nobody dying there right now, but um, their relationship is dying, you know, as far as they're concerned. He's moving off to whatever school. Okay, that's nice, thank you. Sounds like fun, great, and she, I hope she doesn't leave like five children in that house by themselves, but really she deserves to get away from them a little bit. All right, while that is happening, Stuart, I think, is going to relax by his wife. Uh, that might not, no, it's not going to, they can't do nothing with the kids around anyway. Maybe he can get flirty with her. Hey, wake up. <laughs> hey, you, wake up. <laughs> so loud. All right, they're always doing this. I didn't give them nothing to sell. I like that they're using this outdoor areas, I'm not gonna lie. It's fun. Okay, um, no, you're not pillow fighting. Um, let's be neurotic with your wife. See how that goes over. Do you mind? She's telling a ghost story. Uh, why don't you go swim more? Kid. <laughs> Just keep telling her to go away. Come on, be nice with your wife. And did he leave yet? Uh, yeah, he's, I think, at the Coliseum, so I better get their date started, too. Let's see if she enjoys it. She's like, yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> oh, I wonder what they're talking about. But, okay, well, sh they get along pretty well. She believed him, so that worked. That wasn't romantic whatsoever, however. But they have a pretty good relationship, considering I haven't, um, I haven't told them to do anything romantic. All right, um, I'm just going to have you do a whole bunch of romantic things. Put that one already. And then I'm going to swap on over, because that's what this, this day is all about. Go into the all-in-one bathroom at the Coliseum, which I, th I wonder if the traps are all still. Oh, this is someone's remains. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> ah, Julius. I thought we put you somewhere. I, he's still a Hulk on the gr That's insane. Should we leave him? Clean up. I'm not going to clean him up. That's so sad. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> he has a grave site or gravestone, you know, because he was haunting us the other episode. But um, here's his pile. <laughs> oh, sorry, bro. Oh, no, you're not having a date in the bathroom. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Can we just keep this going with her awesome outfit? I love it. This is the perfect place. I want, I want him to hug her to see if his arms go right through. Oh, and they do! She's not really even there. This is the best date that we've ever had. But it fulfilled his um, his dream. He wanted to take, a, take her on a date. It probably was a dream. 
Um, but he figures that since he's getting shipped off to military school anyway, he might as well spend all the time that he can with his floating head girlfriend. That makes it look even better. <laughs> yep, nothing strange about none of this. You could, t you could probably tell I'm actually not planning on downloading any clothing for her. My game's running a little slow right now, and I'm not messing with that right now. You can date. Well, oh, kiss goodbye. <gasps> well, that's for the date, right? Not forever. Oh my goodness. Well, oh, you already did that? You're so romantic. Even though she has, uh, ask her, she, you don't know her sign. You're Greek. Shouldn't that be really important to you? Sheesh. Alright, wait. Um, watching you while you sleep. Well, he, maybe he did do that. Alright, we're gonna let him say he did that. Oh, we're compatible. We kind of knew with it they were compatible. <laughs> she wasn't that angry. Look, she's totally fine now. Oh my gosh. I just, I think I want to play lots of floating head sims now. She's friendly. He didn't know that about her. Well, um, you know, good job, man. Alright, you watch the stars. That should fulfill a couple more things. I don't think... Maybe he can go back to her house after this. Get out here, horse. Oh, I wish you could just walk... Just ride the wild horses. That would be the best. Alright, um... Extremely irresistible. Good job, man. Oh, and they're making out in the bathroom now. Okay, well, I mean... I guess it's your bathroom. But you can't do it in the tub. Wait, you guys can't. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so, no, you're not gonna sleep. He's gonna sleep outside too. Oh, because she was gonna sketch. No, you guys. Where's your bedroom? This is your bedroom with all the cribs in it. Why don't you relax? And why don't you relax? And let's remember why these cribs are here. Let's try and have twins or something. How cute would that be? It would be super cute. You know it. All right. Uh, now Atalo. Shamefully, he's a father that still has a curfew. Uh, which... Maria's out at the moment. We can't visit her house because she's out at the moment with us. Well, never mind. I was going to have him visit with his daughter, but I guess we have to end the date to do that? That kind of bums me out. Oh, well, you guys, get up here and make out right now. <laughs> this is your only job. And friggin' stop wearing your flippin' suit. Because you look actually really good, but that's not the problem. It is the wrong era for that suit. Um, okay. Let's be Roman. No! Oh, golly. <laughs> Alright, now we're settled. Are we settled? Oh, okay. Well, let's cuddle. Cuddle and chat. Is that it? Let's try for a baby. Let's go right away. No fuss, no muss. This is a military man and his wife. Let's let's have some kids. All right. I I, I feel honor bound to look away. Nope. Just kidding. <laughs> the kids are probably out playing uh, in the yard or something. What? Yep. They just all hours of the day. They learn nothing. You would think they'd be getting a good education. This is the first era that it's even possible to have an education. Aw, that's a cute. They're having a long time of a cuddle. That's actually kind of cute. Aww. See, he didn't just take her off the battlefield. He kind of likes her too. So romantic. Put her somewhere. Hey, Sierra's the one that just popped up as the girl with all the chest hair. <laughs> if you recall from a previous LP. <laughs> Like, not telling you anything, but it just seems like a dirty secret. Oh, they're only cuddling. Oh, golly, let's do something. No. Have babies if you know what's good for you. And I think you don't know what's good for you. Alright, uh, shoot. Okay, let me, um, I want to see them, but... Okay. Wee, he had a good date! Oh, is that what that was? Are we getting a massage from a headless person? No, where'd she go, buddy? I'm okay. I don't know which one to unpause over here or over at home. 
He wants to kiss her. That's adorable. Air smells fresher. The birds are twittering in delight, and you feel like you're walking on tiptoe as if it might suddenly you might suddenly burst into flight. That date was incredible. Good. Now visit her at home. Dude, she's home already. Uh, I'll just visit. Okay. That's so funny. Well, good for him. Now let's see if your dad has equal luck. He better. He really should. He's got established luck over here. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. We need to get home. Aw, uh, that was fun. You're welcome, floating head girlfriend. Clean. He just wants to clean the toilet. That's what he thinks about when he's spending time, quality time with his wife. Babies and toilets. <laughs> Best date ever. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this video actually kind of short. Well, this is way too short. I'm gonna go another ten minutes, maybe. I'm trying to keep them to shorter videos so that you guys are not um on a huge commitment of time. But that was good. We got the baby sound. So Atalo, uh, Philomena is there. Can I go in now? Can I go in now? Oh, good. Okay. Maybe he can ask to stay over, too. Alright, there's all these kids climbing around, because if you recall, this is also the sitter's house. Philomena and and her husband Hermes. Um, yeah, floating head girlfriend. Let's see if he can stay out. Maybe he'll try and stay here. No, don't get kicked out. No, don't go home. No! No, you are a bad sim. He's not. He's a good sim. He's trying to be responsible. Don't you want to teach your daughter how to talk, you brat? Get <laughs> I can't force your feelings, but I can force you to walk back to this house. Visit them again. Jeez. Before you get caught by the cops. Then you'll really be off to military school, bucko. I changed his outfit, too. He had, like, really dark colors on before. He's eternally faithful to her. That's weird because this is this happened. <laughs> uh, it just means nobody's seen them. He's like, I'm hungry. We had a good date. Can I stay over? Alright, um... Can I sleep over? Hey girl, hey. Hey girl, hey. Hey, hey girl. <laughs> hey girl. <laughs> I can't do the voice. <laughs> I don't know if my voice is low or high on camera, so I just- or on camera, whatever. He's like, hey. It's like the Invisible Man. I'll paint- uh, I'll paint skin on you and you feel you'll be able to be seen in public. It'll be really romantic. That was a yes! Yes, where's our daughter? Alright, get out of here, person. In person. And that's nice. Okay. Uh, she's the only blonde kid! Mm -hmm. Where is she? She's here. Watch her be way too tired for this. But we're gonna teach her to talk again. Because we are a committed dad. Oh, she's so grumpy sounding, isn't she? Oh my gosh. Philomena cracks me up. Her and Hermes are like a good match. They just seem like good villains, I don't know. I'm not sure why. Probably because she grumbles to herself like that. Oh my goodness, that freaked me out. Aw, alright, so... He's like, I'm gonna go learn how to be an adult now, child I've had. I don't know why I'm making such a big deal out of this. Oh, alright, sheesh. Oh, this jerk again with all of his nectar. I don't care what you name it. Alright. He's teaching her... He was teaching her about money before, which she's never going to see a day in her life. But I, I like the idea of if he can have her like living in his home, then she won't be a servant so much as a rich guy's kid, which would be kind of nice. But they they can't do that right now, apparently. You know, his dad is uh, super healthy. His daddy is... Uh, he's got 16 days before he's older, so... Um, yeah, this, this little girl's probably going to grow up in that time. 16 days, she'd be a teen before she can even live with him, I think, so. Oh, it's sad, but he's making up for it a little bit. I also am going to fast forward this a little bit. I have no idea at what point she's... Okay, come on now. 
I don't know at what point she's actually learned because there's no bar since we're not playing her right now. But I'm going to try and let him get to the point that he's happy. That he's, you know, gets his points for it and then I'll assume that he was able to do it. And he's pretty hungry. And the food's horrible here. Everything is spoiled. <laughs> Alright, uh, well, you're not. What the heck is a green salad? No, you were supposed to. Alright, well, get a snack. You are literally only here for this. Have a quick bread and jam or something. You should have had your your friend give you bread and jam. Alright, now you're gonna teach her to talk again. No ifs, ands, or 4 a.m.s about it, because you have to go. He's leaving at 10 a.m. This is a loom, by the way, this little item here. I found, like, a loom. And it doesn't- I wish it was functional. It's- I think it's supposed to be a dresser or something, but I don't think it's actually functional. Oh no, it is functional. Yeah, okay. So instead of making your own clothes every time, you just store it in it or something. <laughs> something like that, I don't know. You ate, great. Come on. You're gonna learn to talk. Oh, and you gotta kiss Maria. I wonder if we can get all this done. So complicated, one kiss. But that's how the Sims are. Alright, his dad's gonna be gone, so it's basically taking it on faith that you got on your way to military school. He's still in trouble, too. He missed, I guess he has a day job. But I don't, um... Rich kids aren't supposed to have a job, I don't think. Or no, they're allowed to. It was... I'd have to look at the rules again, to be honest. Oh my gosh, this is going too slow right now, too. Oh No, what's she need? Oh, can you rock with her? Rock with Spuria. Do it before this broad picks her up. Who's this? Who are you? What? Wait a second. Who the heck is this person? Jamie McCracken. Shouldn't do that, but get out of my house. Who are you? Gross. Just random creepy neighbor chick. She's not even their neighbor. I've never seen her before. Hope it didn't break my game just now. I don't you know. That's why they had to move to this neighborhood. I kept deleting everybody. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of work switching them back, back and forth. Oh, come on. Somebody let me rock with my daughter, please. Please, y'all suck. If I ask her to pose, was she like, yeah, get up. Get out of our chair. Just kidding, I want you to move. It's not my car, is that for you guys? Whoa, maybe that's the back. That's for his dad. Okay, that's what pilots take on the way to work, apparently. Which, he didn't do any working out. Well, he kind of did, you know, he spent some time. No, rock with your daughter. Don't be an insensitive oaf. Y'all suck. Alright, let's just give her a kiss. Mm, where are ya? She's still posing, I think. No, come back here. Oh, this is so confusing. I don't know which to have you do. He just stayed up all night so that he could pee himself. Because routing in The Sims has not gotten better. I hope you guys can hear me, by the way. The microphone's not up my nose like where I usually put it. <sighs> Who is this dude? Okay. Kashius. Oh, he's from the Gladiator house. I, I like his blue pants. There's like... Uh, something. Oh, I think I know what he's missing. Yeah, whatever. He looks great. With his blue pants. Aw, that's sweet, though. Yup. Haunted look of a dad leaving his daughter. But she's so sweet. She's just sleeping. With her arm in his, in her, in his chest. <laughs> okay, this is super cute. Them together, though. They're adorable. I probably shouldn't say that, but he just looks way too young for all this. <laughs> but we all feel like we're all too young for everything, don't we? From time to time. 
All right, well, he's got like the tiniest amount of energy. No, no, go to boarding school, aww. But at least up to the last second, he spent time with his daughter and his girl. Dude, this is all the king does is make nectar all day, and I, I think that's... Don't, yep, yeah, can't wait to get to military school and learn how to not urinate on yourself. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Aww. I hope the game doesn't forget you, actually. That's why we passed your jeans on. Okay, that maybe isn't the entire truth, but... Aww. He's gonna want to do all this stuff when he comes back. Alright, goodbye, dude. And he's at work. Why don't you at least work hard, dude? Bro. Sir. Work hard. He needs to suck up to his superior. This is his dad now. Oh my gosh. His mood's not not even that good. Alright, um, he'll do some athletic. That's what I'm gonna have him do soon. Um, this is about as long as I'm trying to make an episode nowadays. So that you guys can keep up on it without it being an hour commitment. Um, Svetlana taking her rich wife bath and, and, right, can I just quit your dumb job? You're gonna go get another dumb job though. Aww. Right, he had I think eight days or something before he aged up to a young adult, so I, he's not gonna come back till he ages up, which means I do have to play this family a little bit. I'm probably gonna play them a couple more days before moving on to the next one, but I'll try and give you guys an update. And uh, by that time, I would assume that there's more babies, so what I might do is just show you the transition from this household to the next one. And the cool thing about Italo, too, is they have all his artwork. He's actually got, like, seven paintings on his person, his semi-person, or whatever. Alright, so... And then... Gail, why don't you make something? Oh, you are making something! Good boy. Good dude. Alright, not bad. Now, are you probably hungry? Alright. Call everybody. That includes you. And then repair this, because we're not wasting any money. Alright, so that's where I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna get their house back in order a little bit. I have to play around with the game and find out why I've got some skipping. Um, and I'll try and figure that one out, but it takes time, so at least we got some babies on their way, and um, Atalo has, well, hopefully he comes back more disciplined and less fraternizing with all of the servants. We'll find out. And until then, I'm going to tell you all thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Make it a good day no matter what. This is Frog Snack, signing out. <laughs>